Hello and welcome to the first Jibberidoo quilting lesson. My name is Irene and today I will be teaching you how to do foundation paper piecing. A super fun technique with which I made this little strawberry. You can download the strawberry pattern as a PDF. I will place a link below this video and you will find it in my blog post. What do we need for paper piecing? Well, the most important things are a cutting mat, a rotary cutter and uh, some kind of ruler. I use a add a quarter ruler and paper piecing paper. For that I use tea bag paper. So it's a pretty strong paper, it's see-through and you can put it in a washing machine so it won't break or be damaged when you make it wet or when you wash it. So it's perfect for paper piecing. The first thing we are going to do is to transfer our pattern to the paper piecing paper. I picked the strawberry pattern today. It's a block from my first quilt book, the Sugary Do Sampler. And I've already made a copy. First we are going to transfer the pattern to this paper. Just place your paper over the pattern and tape it in place. Normally I would use a uh, just a grey pencil, so you get thin lines like this. But to make it a little bit more clear for this tutorial, I will use a uh, black pencil. The reason you don't want to use a pen with uh, dark ink is that it can be transferred to your fabric when you wash it. So when you just use a pencil, it will be erased when you uh, put it in the washing machine. Now you also want to transfer all the numbers that are in the pattern. Okay, that's it. So what we want to do now is cutting this pattern in pieces. So we are going to cut these two in tiny pieces. Make sure you've colored your pattern first, because after you've cut all the pieces, you don't know which is which anymore. Now it's time to get some fabrics to start cutting. I've picked some scraps for my strawberry block. I'm going to use these greens for the leaves. And this will be the color for my strawberry. And this gray is going to be my background fabric. So let's start with this section here. We have one piece that's colored red. I'm going to use this pink fabric for this strawberry. And these are all pieces for the background. Get your fabric and place it with the wrong side up. Then you put your pattern piece and place it with the printed size facing upwards. This doesn't have to be precise at all. You just need to have enough room around it to have a seam allowance. When you're a beginner and this is your first block, leave a little bit more space around uh, your pattern. So cut a little bigger piece of fabric. That will make it more easy to sew your first project. So fabric, wrong side up, and the pattern template with the right side up. Just cut around it. And there's your second piece. So now I make a pile, I have my first fabric piece and my second fabric piece. And I just pile it up so it's already in order for when I start sewing. Now it's time for the second section. So this is a section with the leaves. So I've colored two pattern pieces in the same color. I'm going to use the darker green for those two and the lighter greens for the other pieces. So A1 is my first piece. I'm going to use the darker green for that one. So wrong side facing up. Place your pattern piece. Cutting around it so this will be first one for the second pile. We've cut all 
lot of fabrics. So now I will take my paper piecing pattern and I will just put the pile on here so I know this goes together. And the same for the leaf part. So it's time to start sewing. I'm going to start with the strawberry piece first. So I have my fabrics in order and I have a pattern piece with the numbers. So I'm going to flip the pile over so I have my number one fabric piece on top and I'm going to take that pattern piece. This is the front of our pattern. We are going to sew through these lines. So the fabric is going to go at the back side of the pattern. It is big enough to fit behind the pattern because it's see-through. You can easily see that it fits perfectly behind the pattern. So now we have one fabric piece, but of course we want to uh, join two fabric pieces to the pattern. So we are going to work on piece two and I use a card. Uh, you can use a postcard, business card, doesn't matter. I place it along the line between piece one and two, then fold it back. I use a card because the paper, the tea bag paper is so thin. Then I get my add a quarter ruler. You can use another ruler, but this one is really handy because it has a little bump on the ruler on the back side. So you can just place it against the folding line and then we cut off the excess fabric. So what we've done now is made a perfect seam allowance along the second piece. Take the second fabric piece and we are going to place this with the right side up underneath the folded second piece. So it's not supposed to fit under the second piece like this, but it's supposed to fit under the second piece when it's folded. Just going to place this over and align the fabrics. Because we have a seam allowance on this side, I know that it fits right here, I know that it fits right here, and I know that I've cut this uh, piece larger than the pattern piece, so it should fit. What we do then is fold the pattern back and take it to a sewing machine. I don't like to pin, but at this point you can place a pin in the, in the fabrics to hold them together. And just start sewing. sewn the first fabric piece and the second piece together. So what we can see is when we fold the fabric back that it easily fits under the second piece. So what we do now is just press it down that gently with your fingers. You can use an iron for this but I like to, for those small pieces, I just like to finger press it. That's our first and second piece. And now we're moving to piece 3. Take your card again, place it on the line between the two pieces and pull it back. You see now that the fabric is also coming, coming up. The reason for that is that I started before the starting point and I also continued way beyond the finishing point of the line. I do that because I don't like to uh, secure my thread, so um, I just start earlier and go a little bit further than necessary. As a result of that, you have to detach the seam from the paper. So I'll just hold the paper firmly and then I give it a small tuck, and then you've released the paper from the seam. Take your add a quarter, put it against the card, and cut along the ruler. Now we're ready to place piece 3. Take piece 3, place it with the right side facing up. You can see the shape, it's like this. So this one should fit underneath it. So this is the corner, should have enough space here. This is the other corner, should have enough space there. So we pick it up, fold back the pattern and then start sewing.
second section. And that's the section with the greens for the leaves. I will just flip it over so it's right side up. Then it's in the right order. And here we have our pattern. We start with piece one and two. Piece one is a green leaf. Place it at the back of the pattern. So the pattern is facing upward. Then the first fabric piece it was with the right side down. Here's my little card. Flip it over. So now piece two is here. That's going to be this background fabric. So I'm matching up the, uh, the shapes. So this is a shape and I'm matching it up here. I'm going to lift this up gently, placing it over here. So now to check, I have this corner. Should be enough fabric there. It is. This corner, I have enough fabric. Yes, I do. So piece one and two are in place. Just lift it and sew it. And the second section is finished. So now we have our leaves and we have our strawberry. But we're not there yet, almost. So let's flip this over and we see the outlines of our pattern. So we want to make a nice straight block like this one. Uh, but before we cut around all the edges, we will only cut on this side and on this side of the sections because we first need to join these sections. I'm cutting a seam allowance of 7.5 millimeters or you can do a quarter of an inch or whatever you like to cut a seam allowance. There we go. So now we have nice straight lines and we're going to use some pins. I put a pin in the corner of the pattern of the strawberry and then I take the corner of the pattern of the leaves and also place a pin in that corner. Just leave it like this. Go to the other corner of the strawberry, place a pin, the other corner of the leaves and also place a pin. So now we have two pins. Just wiggle it around a little bit. So now we know that the corners are lined up. And now we want to line up in the middle. I'm going to hold it flat and just press a pin through. I see I missed it a little bit. So I will pull it out. Wiggle it around a little bit. Try again. There we go. Yes. So now all the pins are coming out of the pattern through the corners and through the line. That's perfect. So let's play some normal workable pins.
we can sew this together. There we go. On the front it looks nice. And on the back it also looks nice. Perfect. So remove the pins. Fold it open to see if we did a good job. Yes. That looks perfect. So now we get to remove the paper from the seam allowance. And then it's time to give it a press. So the strawberry is all pressed and ready for the final step. So now we have a block with rough edges and we are going to cut it to uh, its correct size. I'm using a 7.5 millimeter seam allowance. That's that. That's our strawberry finished. I'm really curious how you liked making your first paper piecing block. Let me know in the comments below what you think. If you have any questions just ask me, I'm happy to help. If you love the strawberry pattern and would like to make more paper piecing patterns, you can take a look at my book. It's called The Sugary Do Sampler and it's for the quilt hanging behind me. I will put a link down below so you can find uh, all the details about the book and uh, have fun quilting! Mm -hmm.